my name is Becky Burns. I'm the head gardener here at Jodrell Bank Discovery Centre. My first job was in television, working as a location runner in the Peak District. And while I was stopping traffic at the end of the lane, for hours on end, I would be peering over into the hedgerows and looking to see what was going on in there with the wildflowers, birds, bugs and things. So I decided that that was the best part of my job. And after a year of traveling, I came back and decided I'd give gardening a go. I was inspired by a friend of mine who ran a hanging basket nursery and it was while walking along his polytunnels full of young plants and plugs that I decided that I think this would be something I'd quite enjoy, the nurture of, of plants. And so um, here I am 15 years later, still loving it. Here at Jodrell Bank, we've got 35 acres of arboretum and gardens um, with over 3,000 trees and shrubs, which is quite a large collection for, uh, for the Northwest especially. Um, an arboretum is a collection of trees. Um, and so there's, there's hundreds of different varieties in here. So it's quite interesting walking around and seeing trees that have come from all over the world. Um, some, of our, some of our trees were sent in as seeds from arboretum in America, New Zealand, Australia, all, all over the place. So we're quite a, a big collection here. Um, the site is a heavy boulder clay, which, although it can be quite a hard site to work on, it retains water really well and, and it holds on to nutrients um, really well. So it's, it's quite a good host for a lot of our plants and trees. Um, but as I say, it, makes, it can be quite challenging getting around the grounds. The site here at Jodrell Bank was originally the botany experimental grounds for the University of Manchester and Sir Bernard Lovell, the radio astronomer, brought out his telescopes to, um, to do his research out here because the interference back in Manchester was, was getting to be too much back in the 50s. Sir Bernard Lovell was also a keen plantsman as well as a radio astronomer and he approached the University of Manchester about having a collection of trees here as well. He had his own arboretum in, at the Quinter in Swettenham, which is about a mile down the road similar soil conditions to here and he decided to plant up this area um, of 35 acres in 1972. It was opened by the president of the RHS in 1976 and we've got, um, we've got a huge collection of trees to come and have a look around. I've recently been working on our galaxy garden which is just behind me here. Um, it's a series, it's designed around the theme of space and astronomy and each of the flower beds within it depicts certain um, developments of our universe. So we start off with the Big Bang, we move through fading cosmic background through to the birth of stars, the death of stars, the birth of planets and our solar system. Um, in between all of those we've got galaxy swirls of Willow and Carpinus which is Hornbeam. Um, which will create a maze to lose yourself in, but it also um, demonstrates, it, it keeps that, that feeling going of, of swirling galaxies. We've got a mound in the middle of it, which has been constructed out of uh, subsoil, which is a really poor um, soil, which is underneath what we call topsoil. Um, and it's known for being quite barren, but it's, it's perfect for establishing a wildflower meadow on. Um, so we've got, a great variety of native grasses, wildflowers, which are perfect for clay soil, which is what we've got here. Although the site's not a natural woodland, we've got quite a good habitat for a lot of our native wildlife around here. Um, so it's largely undisturbed because it's such a vast space. Not everybody goes to every darkest corner. So it's perfect for all sorts of local wildlife. As a gardener, your work is outdoors and you have to be prepared for all weathers, particularly days like today and this summer we're having. The area I work in is very much a man-made environment, whether it's gardens, farmlands, estates, parks. Man has had an influence on that in some way, shape or form, particularly in our country anyway. So there's very little parts of our land that are left untouched. But in the same vein, we have to work with nature. Days like today, we just have to get on with it.